Hey YouTube, this brother Mike Man of God on Fight for Christ. How y'all doing this morning? Um, today is Wednesday, um, the 23rd, 2015. And, um, you know, I bring y'all this message, you know, out of love like I always do. You know, war is upon us. I told you guys a while ago um, what the Lord showed me in a dream. You know, he showed me cold air coming and I was running. And um, it was just like the day after tomorrow. If you ever seen that, that movie when the cold air just frees you. And if you get caught within the cold air, you know, um, you know, you would you would die. And I was like, Lord, you know, I, I kept telling my wife in a dream, I said, go, if I get left behind, you know, you just go, you know, don't worry about me, you know. And we got indoors just in a matter of time before the cold air um, s swept over us. And then the dream turned that we was out in the courtyard somewhere and these planes just entered our atmosphere and they shot down all the commercial airliners, everything in the sky, these planes just shot them down. They was vicious. And it was one color plane was black, the other one was gray. They wasn't like our our United States fight, fighters. The, the spirit was letting me know that. And of course, our planes would not be knocking down our own commercial airliners. It looked like it was a joint operation, you know. On, um, and look what just happened yesterday. You know, um, we keep trying to push Putin to war. You know, a uh, commercial airliner just got knocked down, what, two, three weeks ago? Everybody on board dead. And then here, here it is, you know, they're over there just trying to protect Syria. And, and here it is, another airliner knocked down. I mean, it's only so much Putin is going to take because he is a man of authority. He must do something, and he, he's not going to show his weakness. And um, I love my country, but um, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, you know. And no matter how much I love this country, this country has basically put their finger up, put their fist up to God and said, we want to do it our way. We don't want your way. You know, we want same-sex marriage, and here it is, our leader, our commander-in-chief, supposed to be a Christian, has put, you know, the 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 red, white, and blue, you know, the, 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 the gay pride sign, you know, on the White House. You know, the colors of the gay pride sign, which is really the color of the covenant with, with um, Noah, that God would not destroy this world again. But you see how Satan wants to be like God. So he's using those same color that God promised us that he would not destroy the world by water again. Satan is using those colors to support something that God hates and he does not like, same-sex marriage. And we wonder why the wrath of God is going to come upon us. And, and, and I believe that war is going to is going to happen very soon. The Lord showed me that. And uh, I believe that he showed me that to warn you guys. I thank God that you guys are following me because we know God always warns us before something happens. And he's been warning people all over the nation, all over the all over the world that war is coming. And this is not going to be a little war. This is going to be a war like never before. When you got superpowers going to war with one another, it's not like if we go to war with like Iraq or, or one of these small third, you know, small countries. When we go to war with a superpower, it's different. They can come in our airspace, you know, they can put troops on our grounds. We can go in their airspace, airspace and put troops on their, on their ground. And it's all Satan's plan to implement martial law. We don't know if they all together. We don't know if Russia and America and China and, and Syria and all that, this is all plotted. Or we don't know if if, if, if this is something serious because we, we can't trust the media. So we just got to be prayed up. We don't know what's going on. But we know that if we have Jesus Christ, no matter what they bring our way, you know, we're going to be covered by the blood. And that's why it's so important to be saved right now. It's so important to be to have Jesus in your life because we don't know what these men are mad. They're controlled by Satan. And it doesn't matter. You know, they don't care about me and you. 
all they care about is more money, more money, more power. You know, power and money is their their god. They don't care about you know innocent lives. Like I told you, you know, our family's gonna be cooking and and doing dishes and getting kids ready for school. And here it is, we all preparing for Thanksgiving, and these these guys can just drop a nuke somewhere any at any time. You know, they don't care. Only thing they care about is more money. And if they are if they are being influenced by Satan, war is gonna happen. You know, and I believe that the only the hand of God has been stopping it this far from them plotting. I believe that September 23rd they wanted to do something. I believe they wanted to unleash CERN, but they can't do nothing because the Holy Spirit is still here. That's why I don't understand why people say they're post tribbers. How could the Antichrist be revealed and yet the Holy Spirit still be here? Because, and you guys may say, well, the Holy Spirit, well, guess what? When a church leaves, the Holy Spirit is the one that, that helps us leave. The Holy Spirit is God. Jesus Christ comes in the sky. The Holy Spirit lives in us. So when the rapture occurs, the Holy Spirit is going to leave this place. The restrainer is gone. Now Satan can go inside Obama because now he's waiting. He's just waiting on the rapture. He's waiting on the rapture to go inside President Obama. You know? He's waiting inside. He's waiting. And we all know that Pope Francis can very well be the false prophet. Now, I don't claim to know anything. And I don't claim to know that, you know, President Obama is the Antichrist. But I know that whether two or three are, uh, you know, are witness, let it be established. And so many people are having dreams and visions that Obama can very well be, you know, that man of perdition. So I just want to let you guys know that we got to be prayed and the rapture is soon. I told you guys, if you guys follow me on the live stream, if you guys have subscribed to my channel, then you know I told you guys I would be very shocked if we get out of 2015 because of so much stuff is all around. The mark of the beast is here. You know, they're already starting to chip people and animals and, you know, they're already doing that system. It's already here. You know, it's already here. Everything is set up. They got the FEMA camps and they got everything set up. They got the plastic coffins. They just bought one point, you know, 1.5 billion hollow point bullets. This stuff you can guys can go look up. Go look up plastic coffins. Go look up the FEMA camps. Don't take Brother Mike word for it. Go look this stuff up for yourself, you know, and then you will find out what the government is doing. They're prepared to kill many. They're prepared. And who 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 knows if Obama and Putin and and and, and Assad and, and and China and all these people are and this is what they want. You know? Because you can't have a one world order without the United States falling. You just can't. And we're the last nation that under God, one nation under God that, that's keeping you know that's that's keeping the commandments of the Lord. You go to these other countries; they they don't have, they you know they they're not worshiping the Lord like we're worshiping God. They don't have open faith to do that. Christians are being killed all over the world. China's trying to stop people from worshiping God. Russia, you know, it, it, they 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 say they worship God, but I you know I don't know what's going on over there. But I do know that the United States is openly have churches. People are getting saved every day. People are fasting and praying over here. That's one thing that I do know. I can't speak for these other places because I'm not there. So if the Lord has been showing us that the United States will fall, if it's in the Bible, the great hammer of the world will, will be broken. That's in the Bible. Go read the book of Isaiah. You know, God is has is, is been so patient with the United States. He's been so patient with us. You know, you got police officers killing people. They've been sworn on the earth to serve and protect, and they're killing people. And it don't matter if they're black or, or, or white or Chinese. The point, the, the point is that they're going to have to pay for that. The living God sees everything. You know, and, and my personal belief is that they got sick people getting in these uniforms, and, and they are provoking these police officers to kill people. And I believe that they want a racial war to happen. They really do. That's my. That's just my belief. I believe that all these mass killings are not by coincidence. They're not killing black people by coincidence. They want 
They want martial law. They want to start going house to house to take guns. They want this stuff like Paris. They want this stuff to continue because they, if they snatch our guns, then they can do whatever they want to do to us. If they make guns illegal, then if you get caught with a gun, they can give you 50, 60, 70 years, 100 years. You'll never get out of jail. That's their goal. That's their goal. But instead, they can do, they can make every bullet cost a thousand dollars, and that'll take down, that'll take down the gun rate, the gun, that'll take down the gun, the gun crime. If they make every bullet a thousand dollars, they make it hard to get bullets. You know, people wouldn't use the bullets the way they use them. But now you can go anywhere and get bullets are so cheap. If you make bullets, you know, so so so. Uh, if you make the price go up on the bullets, people will quit shooting the way that they shoot. You know what I'm saying? People are preserving because bullets are only meant to to protect yourself and your family. If somebody's coming in your house, breaking in your house, if somebody's trying to do something to you, that's what bullets are for. Bullets are not for you to just go out and just shoot people and kill people and do scare tactics. What Satan is using bullets for. It's supposed to keep people in line. But you know what? Bullets can't keep people in line because the only people that can keep people in line is the Lord. People people think the police can, can keep people in line. That's not that's not so. People have been dying all, all since mankind's been born. You know, Cain killed I mean Cain killed Abel. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that war is coming. Jesus Christ is coming too. The Lord showed me. A mushroom cloud and I was going up something was grabbing me up something was grabbing you know how you grab a baby from under the arm and pick a baby up and that's what something was grabbing me going up as the mushroom cloud was there I'm trying to tell you guys that war is coming and you have to prepare yourself you have to be prepared because it could come at any time Putin is not gonna give us any warning if he does go to war Satan is not gonna warn anybody he comes like a he's gonna come like a roaring lion seeking who he may destroy You know, and 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 many people are going to lose their lives. Many people are, but see, God loves us so much. There's angels in place. There's angels in place. These angels are here to protect us. But see, you got to be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. You got to be ready. You got to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior to 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 activate those holy angels that 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 will protect you. And those angels will knock on your door and say, "Get out." Just like he told Lot and Abraham and them, get out, you gotta leave. We can't destroy this place until you leave. Those angels will do the same for you. Those angels love you just like they love Lot and got Lot out of there. But you see, Lot's wife, God told her, don't look back. And she turned around and she turned into a pillow of salt. Because once the Lord tell you to don't look back, you can't look back. And the Lord is telling you, don't look back at your lives. Don't look back at your past. A lot of us are starting to look back at our past. You know, Satan wants to remind you of your past, but see, the Lord is telling you, just like you told Lot, wife, don't look back. Don't look back at your life. God is coming. Don't look back at the things you used to do. Keep looking forward. Keep looking at that relationship with God. Walk hand in hand with the Lord into the rapture. That's what God wants you to do. Walk hand in hand with him. When you go through your struggles, if you're hungry and you go through your struggle, God is there with you. He's there with you. He's going hungry with you. If you're going through a bad time, you're going through depression, God is there with you. All you have to do is pray to him. He'll deliver you from it. Now, I don't want this video to get too long. I always have so much to say to you guys. Please join the live show today. The live show probably will be around 7 o'clock. Um central standard time or maybe 7 30 um it depends but it will be tonight so please tune in to see what the spirit has to say i'm going to talk a lot about what 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 russia might be doing i'm going to talk about about the rapture this show is dedicated to the rapture and the coming of our lord and savior jesus christ all are welcome if you would like to share a dream or a vision of what the lord has told you please come on the live show you have to add me, subscribe to me at brother Bro Mike Man of God. If you're looking at this on Google, I don't have to know you to, for you to be on the show. You are you a brother and sister of mine. 
come on the show. Feel free to come on the show. And if you just want to come on the show and share what the Lord has and then you want to leave, be, feel free. This is not nothing scripted. We all just talk freely. We talk freely as saints about the goodness of Jesus Christ. And we just want to uplift you and we want to encourage you to come out tonight. And it's every Wednesday. Wednesday is usually at 630 or 7 o'clock. And, and then it's Sunday always at 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. Both of them is Central Standard Time. And we want to come and, and, and fellowship one to another, you know, because God is coming. Ready or not, Jesus is coming. I used to sing that back when I was a little kid. We used to play, ready or not, here I come. Well, ready or not, here Jesus come. And you better be ready. You better be ready for this war. You better be ready for Jesus Christ. You better be ready. If he come today, you better be ready. We don't know when Jesus Christ is coming. And I'm not claiming to say that I, that, that I do know today. But I know if you're ready and you stand ready, then you're going to be ready when he comes. Because if you're looking for him every day, how can you be caught off guard if you're looking for something every day? If you know that income tax is coming, you're looking for that check. You know you filed your taxes, you're looking for it, right? Because you know it's coming. You know it's coming. If you're working for a job and you know they told you they get paid such a, you're looking for that day, right? If they told you get paid on Fridays, man, it come Thursday, man, I know I get paid tomorrow. You're looking for that day, aren't you? I don't know why people ain't looking for the day the Lord is going to return. He's going to return. He can return today. Every day is payday with the Lord. The Lord can come every day. We look for paydays and we look for income taxes, but nobody want to look for the Lord. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. Y'all better look for the Lord every day. Just like you looking for those paychecks when you working. Or you looking for those stamps to come on your card every month. For food stamps. Look for the Lord. He's coming, y'all. He's coming. Surely I say unto God, is coming quickly. He's coming quickly. You know, he's coming quickly. I had a rapture dream, and I'm going to wait till the Lord if he wants me to share it with you guys. I had a rapture dream. But I, my wife said, everything the Lord showed you is not for you to tell everybody. So I'm not going to, you know, share it until the Lord says, share that. But God is coming, y'all. He's coming. And I just want to be obedient to the Lord. I like to share with you guys a lot of things, but you know, I also have to be obedient. You know, when my wife tells me something, because God speaks to her like audibly. So, you know, He speaks to her so much, and uh, He speaks to me too. And when the Lord asks me, when He tells me to, to share with you guys, I will. Y'all know I will. But um, this has been Brother Mike, man of God. I love you guys. And uh, look up. Our redemption draws nigh. Jesus said, when you see all of these things, know that I'm at the door. He's been at the door. The door just hasn't been opened. And Jesus has been at the door. We've seen wars and rumors of wars and pestilence and people saying that they're Jesus Christ. Come on now. We've seen the prophet. We've seen the Pope say he come in his own name. Jesus said, I come in my father's name. But if another man come in his name, receive him not. We see all these things happening, y'all. Come on the show today. Come, come, come talk. Uh, come listen, you know. We would love to have you. Everybody is welcome. We love all of my brothers and sisters. I don't care if you barely speak English. I love you. Jesus loves you. We will all be together very soon in that clouds. We will all be enjoying the beautiful. Heaven is so beautiful, and we're going to be enjoying that any day now, y'all. Any day now. Any day y'all going to come knock on my door in, in heaven, and I'm going to answer, and I'm going to say we made it. And I'm going to come knock on your door and say, what a God we have. What a God we have. Y'all look around, y'all. What a God we have. God is so good to us. Even when we was bad, even when we were sinning, God decided, decided to lay his life down for you. Because his love is, is we can't describe God's love. We can't describe it. It's, it's, it's out of our human mind of thinking how, how deep his love goes, y'all. And please watch the last couple of videos that I've, that I've left up. They were so powerful, you know. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ is working through this channel and you guys have made, you guys have made this channel, um, you know, you guys give me drive and motivation to keep going. All of you guys' comments, all of you guys' prayers. I pray for you guys every day. I go to God every every day on y'all behalf. I say, Lord, please bless all the subscribers. So if you have not subscribed, please go subscribe to me so I can pray for you, so my family can pray for you. You know, and not only my channel, it's a lot of good channels out here, you know, 
And uh, may the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. This video has been long, but I pray that it's, it's helped you. The day can happen today. Are you ready? Are you ready for Jesus to crack that sky? Will you get your gown? The robe of righteousness. Will you get that? If he cracked that sky today, are you ready for the Son of Man, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords? You ready to sit down and eat with the Lord? Because that's what's going to happen. We're going to eat with the Lord. And we're also going to stand before the Lord in that great beam of seat. God is going to give you all the things according to what you did on this earth. So please, read your word. Witness, witness to people. Share videos. Talk to somebody about God. God will give you a reward. He said his reward is with him. And what a great reward those are going to be, y'all. I love you guys. The Lord Jesus Christ loves you. Accept him today. If you don't have him in your life, repeat after me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. Help me to be the person that you want me to be, Lord. Wash me clean from all my sins, Lord. Forgive me for my sins. I love you, Lord. I need you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. God loves you. He will be with you. He, has, he said he would never leave nor forsake you. And he's coming. He can, he can come today. I want you to be ready. I want to see you in those clouds. It don't matter how you look. It don't matter what your past, what, what's been in your past. The blood of Jesus covered you just now when you said that prayer. And if you didn't say the prayer, go back and say it. God will forgive you of all your sins. Now it's about what you do today. Ain't God good? What he did on the cross just saved you from all that baggage. You don't have any baggage anymore. A lot of us going to get to heaven and say, Lord, I'm sorry for Jesus going to say, I forgave you for that. I don't remember none of that. Because he said he won't remember it from east to west. But he wants you to live a new life. You're born again. We don't think the same way we think. We don't walk the same way we used to walk. That's what born again is all about, y'all. I love you guys.